He is top three, arguably the best in Idaho, which is surprising. His Bowser is very good. I played it a few times. I play Pikachu. I have pretty good buys. Keep talking. I have pretty good um, Bowser experience, and he just knew every option and would punish me every time. Um. So with me, Verity. So. Then has some pretty interesting setups. He doesn't have straight kill options, but he what he'll do is he when he can kill someone he'll down throw and either go for an up air, which is not always. Oh, that was almost. Oh, wow. Okay. He'll go. He'll go for like an up air, or uh, I don't know if he can do it guaranteed on Bowser, or he'll do a down throw and try to bait out an air dodge. Wow, that was a great side beat. And Ben taking a commanding lead right now. This is not looking good for Bowser. And honestly, I'm not super surprised. This seems like it would be a pretty hard matchup if uh, Bowser doesn't know it. But Skynerd's making a pretty pretty good run right now, getting a good damage on. Um, we'll see if Ben goes for any of the combos. Something Bowser can do is what he's going to do right now. Yep. Up throw straight to up air. And that's a pretty good kill confirm. Uh, it's better than anything Zelda has. Zelda has to get a pretty good read to actually get a good kill confirm or punish a major mistake of the Bowser. I see. And like, if you look, yeah, see there's the up air. And you almost, like, the ability to DI that down throw is not that great. You either go at that slight angle that you saw earlier where Ben got the nair, or you go straight above her. Right. And those are like the two, and that, oh, great DI by Ben. Oh, good down tilt, good and that's the stock. Good awareness that he was going over the ledge. Right, and, and not uh, straight ben to it. has been going to the ledge every time. Mm -hmm. Wow, great smash GI yeah, getting out of that forward smash. I'm surprised he was able to do that. Oh. Now certainly it seems like Zelda's relying on the gigantic hitbox of Bowser. In this oh yeah, it's, def I mean, it's definitely definitely very helpful. Uh, when it comes to the forward air, the back air, the sweet spots, it's, it's a bit difficult, but for... A character like Bowser, he's just this giant target, mm -hmm. and all he has to do is get one good setup for the back air. But it looks like Bowser's at that percent, and Skyner's actually applying the right DI, so now he can't just that was good. down he... throw him into a fair bear. Right. He should the the down throw into fair bear aren't guaranteed, but if you oh wow yeah oh, he he good. always what he should do is DI the down throw behind him, and then. At that percent, jump air dodge. Because Skynerd can't actually get a forward or back air in before he does something like that. Um, what he does, what Ven will do, or it's not Skynerd, what Ven, Ven can't get a back air when uh, Skynerd DIs like that. What Ven will do is he'll wait for the air dodge and then do a forward air or back air instantly out of it as the air dodge punish. And so right now, uh, this is arguably one of Bowser's best stages. His the, one of the reasons for that is his up air or up smash, excuse me, will cover the entire platform if oh, someone really? lands on it, and uh, his shell is invincible during his up smash. Okay, so the hitbox is actually below the shell. No, or the his, his the shell box. is the hit, yeah the hurt box is below the shell. I'm I'm pretty sure. That nair does so much damage. It's, it is so goofy looking too. The Bowser Nair? Yeah. He just does like the in air cart wheel. Yeah. <laughs> sort of fumble around. Great use of. The jab. So Bowser's jab also has invincibility. I'm not sure where, but it does have invincibility, which makes it very easy to clank with projectiles. And it's a very good option when trying to like beat out certain things. And that was very scary for Van. If he didn't DI that away, he would have gotten hit by it, and he would have died. Now, I do like Skynerd's Bowser here. A lot of uh, newer Bowsers tend to have this habit of relying on super armor, just sending the forward smash and hoping that kills because the other right. person is not paying attention and tries to counter with their own attack. Right. Skynerd is at least aware that just throwing out the forward smash is it's not, not a good Especially option. versus Zelda, where if... He misses the forward smash, Zelda is going to punish with a forward air back air, and at this percent it's going to kill, and that will also kill. Nice. That's side B. So, now Skynerd's just trying to rack up as much defense as possible. Can, does Bowser's up B go farther if he matches B? Yes. Okay. 
I, I thought for sure that Skyner had suicided there. Oh, there. That's a yeah, great that's punish. Outspacing the Nair and coming down with a... Oh. Ooh. And Bowser already behind now. A little bit of impatience by Skyner there. Mm -hmm. Although with Rage, it will definitely help getting kills. Ooh. Oh, great. Nair Didn't hit the full... Great job. Wow. And that... He's, he's racking up a commanding lead right now. Yeah. It's getting pretty scary for Ven. If he takes a few more percent, like, this is going to kill him. And then a side B again. A great kill option for Bowser. That isn't going to kill, but it will... It will after, like, 10 or 20 more percent. And that's only a few hits from Bowser. And then Bowser also has all of his other kill moves. Like, Board Tilt, I think, will kill it, like, around this much. Oh, this might be it. Oh, no. It's too, too high percent for that kill confirm. But... Forward tilt, down air, like Bowser wow. has so many strong kill moves. It's so scary playing against Bowser at high percent. If you make one mistake and he hits you with something, you're dead. It's like melee Ganon. You have Actually, to yeah, it's very similar to melee Ganon. In you the have to respect the aerials, you have to respect his spacing. You have to respect basically everything he has. Like, Even if when it comes to tier lists, they're not good characters. Their sheer power behind their moves is just something you have to take as a legitimate threat. And I'm not sure I agree with this choice from Ben. Like, yes, it may help him get kills earlier, but it also, like, the low ceiling is also gonna help Bowser out a ton. Is this a low ceiling? Yes, in this game, it is a wow. low ceiling. Very different from Melee, which this is the highest ceiling in the game. The highest ceiling for tournament play. Yeah. I can't remember. Oh, that was he almost got those two frames. That actually the higher ceiling. Oh, um, there. Wow, see that almost there. killed him. And now if he gets an up throw, I think that. Oh, that might be it. Yeah, and that's a, another issue with this stage is Sky Nerd. Oh no! No! Oh, that was a huge flub. I think he hit A instead of B, causing him to do an up air, and that's not gonna. Oh, it will kill. Okay. That will kill. So as I was saying earlier, side B. If he can aim it onto the top platform, then that's quicker killing, because right. the low ceiling. And I, I don't know. I'm just not fully confident this was uh, Zelda's best option. I think that um, that SD might have been a lot better. Oh, that was a great air dodge, getting out of the nair. Oh, oh that was that was very interesting. I like that choice. And right now, Ven is just putting on like a clinic on how to punish everything Bowser does. That was good. So what Ben was expecting is Skyner to DI or like move away from him as he uh, as he did the uh, after the down throw. And what Skyner did was he tried to cross Ben up by just going uh, back into him, and it caused Ben to miss it. And that's gonna be it. And there it is. Yeah, that was a really unfortunate SD by Skyner. So that's gonna be um, Ben winning two one. <laughs> it's unfortunate. Yeah, we had not been updating the scores on the stream. Okay. So, boy, Ben wins 2 1. If Skyner goes to losers, I do not think he's going to be happy when he gets back. No. Assault commentary. Wait, what is happening? Oh, shoot. Oh, oh, it's best 3 of oh, 5. I was wrong. So, it is not over. Okay. So we are. I, I may have reported it, but it is best of five. Update there. Um. So now we got Skynerd. He has a chance to recover from that suicide. Let's see if he can. I'm. I'm interested to see if Skynerd wins this. Ven's final counter pick. God, that forward smash. He Ven's like instead of trying to approach Bowser in the air, he's just staying on the ground now and waiting for Bowser to do something and then punishing it. And it is working incredibly well. Skyner needs to slow down and just be more patient. He doesn't need to be so aggressive. Oh, that was almost a kill. Oh! oh and there's the use wow. of the forward smash. And that forward smash barely not killing, but he's got and he he brought it back though. With, oh, that good down tilt. Good. Oh, oh! Oh! Great tech by Ven. That was good. that. But right now. Oh, Skyner, he, that's it. Oh. Skyner in the commanding lead now. Ven's going to have trouble killing without any rage, but we'll we'll see. Oh, that's going to be big damage. Oh, I, I expected the up tilt after that Nair to try to catch Ven on his way down. That neutral B from Zelda is super good at basically stopping... Oh, that will kill. 
that was up B, popping him in the air and finishing it off. But um, as I was saying, Zelda's neutral B is very good at basically telling anyone who's on top of them to go away. Like, it has invent near... In I'm does it have invincibility on startup in this game? I'm not sure. In, in other games, it had invincibility on startup after, like, the hitbox actually came out. The image comes out before the hitbox, right. and you might see it at some point. When Ven puts it out, he'll get hit, and the blue thing will be around him. Right. But, um... Oh, great punish by Ven. It's, it's not only supposed to be just a pretty little attack. It's actually a shield. It's, it's a reflector. Yeah. Um, and it... It, it does decent damage, and will if if you're on any side of her, it will, that might be a kill. Oh, oh, little okay. Could have been the kill, but it also <laughs> could have been an opportunity for Ben to really just get rid of that Bowser right there. Right. That yeah. was that was a really interesting um, thing that Bowser did when he was in the hit stun. He jumped up and did a down air, which usually like sends you straight down as Bowser really quickly. Right. But because of an interesting mechanic that is present in a lot of Smash games, it didn't shoot him down like it would. He went down slowly and it was able to cancel and actually move around, allowing him to get that forward tilt as a, he auto canceled it into the ground. Now here we're seeing where it's the actual nervous stage of play. Both these players are thinking of what this game actually means. They, yeah, this uh, is this is game point for Ven, and like for Skyner, he needs to win this to survive. Yeah. Oh, that's that's it. That's it. He missed the ledge. There we go. Wow. Okay. Yeah. So that's now it. it's two to two. Yeah, definitely that sort of last stock feeling of don't mess this up. You can right. see them rolling back. They would approach, roll back, approach, roll back. They send out a jab to try and feel it out. They were definitely less aggressive than they usually were. That, that's yeah. the common thing at this point in the match. It's really terrifying. Rage makes hyper sense like for any character. Like when you get someone to kill range, it makes that character so much more terrifying. And they agreed Ooh. back to Smashville. Um, I'm surprised I, I would have expected Ben to go with uh, FD. It gives him a lot of space to really space around Bowser's stuff, but he probably just likes the stage more. Um, he, good. Pro he was probably thinking FD, but I want a platform of some sort. Yeah, or maybe Skyner banned FD. That's possible. But we'll, well, we'll no, this is a best three five, no bands. No, that's only a melee. Oh, that's a melee thing. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Definitely so right, so right now, Ven in a pretty solid lead, but Bowser just needs a few hits to bring that back. If he gets a grab, that will give him the up air. Yeah, there we go. He read the roll. Oh, there we go. They're pretty much even. Bowser's strength and his heaviness makes him much harder to kill. And he kills it. See, he has, he has many more kill moves than Zelda does. Yeah, I... Yeah, it was accidental. Yeah, we found out. <laughs> uh, I coming in and telling us not to report. Forward. Oh, this might be it. If he can, oh, he should have just up there. He would have had it. Oh, and oh. forward throw. Will that was a great grab. Ben going for the lead and <laughs> just the swag walk. Yeah, back, like, okay. Skynerd punishing it hard. Oh, he's trying to get the balloon. Uh, and he he he, gets he punished for the balloon. He Are tries to me? style like tr getting the balloon and gets punished hugely for it. Not not his best choice. But right now, game five, very close. Both playing very safe. And wow, great punish on the jab from Skynerd. Oh man. Okay, so Ven's playing a little bit scared now, and he needs to get his like ability. Yeah, now he's going back in. But he, when Ven was, when Ven was doing best, he was waiting for Bowser to do something and then punishing it. And right now he's not doing that as much. There, he's getting more back into it. But Skyner is playing a lot safer now. He's playing a lot smarter and. That's so scary. It's not gonna kill for a while, especially when it's so stale, but this might. Oh! Yes. Yep, the kill confirmed. That was the perfect percent. And Skyner takes it. He's, he's lucky with a three out of five. Okay. Uh, I think he was saying we don't report whatsoever. Yeah. So he submits the results. I'll save progress. Good job, Skynerd. Oi. <laughs> I'm not going to tell the joke I am thinking of now. It is not PC. Hmm? Oh, yeah. So, 